Hello again. This is part two to the previous video, putting in some simple pipe work. Um, I'm going to make some further edits to this. These pipes need some fillets on the corner to make them look a little bit more realistic. And I'll be adding in some extra elements just to show you how, using these simple tools, um, we can come up with indicative plumbing pipe work components that will go into a, an MEP design. As I said in the previous video, using this systems tab is quite tricky and it does involve uh, quite a lot of investment in time um, and expertise to be able to use it properly. Sometimes you just want to put some indicative geometry in uh, to communicate ideas and that's, that's the approach we're taking here. Instead of having to keep using this section box to cut into my building. I'm just going to quickly set up a view. I'm going to duplicate my view, rename it and call it 3D pipes only. You'll get the idea in a minute. Okay, 3D pipes only. Now In this view, I'm going to get rid of that section box. I want to be able to see everything and make sure I'm selecting everything. I'm going to select across the whole model, make sure everything's selected, and then I'm going to use this filter tool down here. Click on that little funnel. That's everything I've got selected at the moment. Now, I don't want to select my masses. Apply. Okay because I don't want to hide them. Now I can right click on these things that I've got selected. Hide in view elements. That gets rid of everything that I don't want to see. And that just keeps things clear. Now I'm going to do WT Windows Tile ZA Zoom All. Simple little move is to put a filleted corner on these. So I'm going to select that, edit in place, select it again. Well, actually, I'm going to hover and tab to make sure I'm selecting the whole thing. Edit profile, select again. That takes us back to this primary line. So I don't have to undo everything I've done on the pipe work. I can just now use my fillet arc. Click on that, turn on radius, radius of 200, that'll be fine. These pipes were 200 mil wide. So nice and simple, radius, radius, tick, tick to finish. You can see in this other view, that change is updated. I can do the same for this one, edit in place. Tab, select the whole thing, edit profile, select on that. I get these same items. In fact, I'm just going to expand that window there. Use my fillets again, fillet arc, radius, it's remembered the 200 mil. Radius, 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 radius. to finish. Finish mass. Okay, window tile again. Right, so that's fine. I've got some pipe work going on in there. Now I briefly want to show you how to build some other geometry. And where we've been drawing on reference planes or work planes and we've created them ourselves, you can just create these um, in place masses on the levels because they are datums the same as creating a new reference plane would be a datum to draw upon. So I'm going to simply create a piece of geometry that represents something like a I don't know ground sourced heat pump something like that. So 
I'm just going to look in elevation view at my building and have a look levels there there's one with levels showing I have hidden off the levels okay so I've got a foundation level down under the ground of minus one meter now that might not be deep enough for what I want so I'm going to add another level under here I'm going to make that minus 3000 I'm going to call it base of heat pump okay so I can only in insert new levels to work on in elevations um, that's the only time that tool is available so set some of these fundamental datums up as you go okay close that one down I'm now going to you know what I'm going to expand this one I want to see the building at the same time just pull this over a little bit okay Let's look from the right. That's good. Pull that down a bit so I'm not going to lose any of the geometry under the ground. Okay, let's make a mass. To do that, I want to go to massing the tab, in place mass, uh, heat. Okay, simple. I'm going to do a very simple rectangle for this. But first, I'm going to set the work plane I'm on. Base of heat pump, that's good. Okay, first things first, I'm going to put a rectangle and get it roughly in the right place, but doesn't have to be bang on. And there we go. I'm going to select this thing and say actually that should be two meters. Stick another zero in. Two meters by one meter. Okay, we can now take that because it's a closed form. It will make a solid object. Push that up. Maybe 1500. Okay. Tab through to select the whole object, and as we did before with the pipes, let's give it a material and stick to this white material for now. Okay. That's fine. Uh, let's move the object that's kind of right I could have given myself some grid lines to work to if I'd wanted but Okay. Right, tick to finish. Let's edit this one again. Edit in place. Tab the whole thing. Edit profile. Tab the thing again. I'm going to add a line in. And come straight down into my unit. Escape off, and then I'm going to fill at the corner. As I've done the other ones. Press turn on radius. Boom, boom. Fill it. Tick, tick. That's not bad. I did it by eye. Like I said, I could have done it better than that.
Now you can see because that's a conceptual mass, or sorry, not a conceptual mass, an in-place mass, it's showing in here. Now if you ever wanted to export just your pipe work to share with other teams, for instance, you'd need a view like this where it's just set up to see what you're seeing and then it's a quick uh, job of uh, selecting everything in there and exporting it. Okay, so I hope that helps.